Okay guys, so I'm going to start uh, getting this epoxy resin put down on the bar top. Before I do the main top of the table though, I am going to need to do this back panel on the tower and that's because obviously I need this sat um, horizontal before I do the epoxy over the top of it. Once that is set, I can then fix the tower in place and then have the epoxy around the sides of that. So yeah, the tower needs to be there first, otherwise the epoxy is just gonna run off of the end there and uh, down off the back of it. So let's start mixing. Okay, so this stuff needs to be um, mixed first of all before we start using it. Before I do the main pour for the tower, I need to do a sealing coat over the top of it. So the beer mats are obviously cardboard and they will absorb some of the epoxy and the instructions for this state that you should seal uh, anything that you're embedding or pouring over. Uh, before you do the main coat because it will soak into that material and potentially affect the uh, the level or finish on the final coat of epoxy. So I'm just going to do a very small amount for the uh, tower and seal over these beer mats that I've already got in place. These have been glued down by the way so they're just uh, PVA glued or uh, well, it's wood glue really, but PVA glue is basically what it is over the uh, back of the beer mats and then sealed down. So I weighed them down just to stop them from curling up a little bit because when they get a bit wet, they tend to curl up. So I weighed them down with a bit of wood and some weights, keep them flat and they are well stuck on now. So we're going to seal them with the epoxy next. So when you're mixing the epoxy, you need to do it by weight rather than by volume. So we're going to mix up two parts resin to one part hardener. I'm just going to do a very small quantity, probably about an ounce, uh, so 30 grams-ish of uh, epoxy just to brush over. So I'm going to use a paintbrush just to seal over the beer mats and uh, yeah, then leave that to dry and harden before I do the main pour over the top of that. Okay, so we're just going to go for about 20 grams of resin to start. And then 10 grams of the hardener, which then needs to be mixed thoroughly. So the instructions for this particular brand say three minutes of mixing in the first container. And then you're supposed to transfer it to a second mixing vessel and do another three minutes to make sure there's no unmixed parts at all. Shouldn't be as much of a concern with this small amount. Okay so that's about three minutes. As you're mixing it the solution starts to become a bit less viscous than when you first put them together so that's a lot more free running than when you initially put the two together. It comes out very thick out of the bottle. So I'm just going to transfer that to the other pot there to mix it a little bit more and then we'll brush some of this over the bar mats. Okay so a little bit more mixing in this second container and then we'll brush some of it on. Okay so that's as thoroughly mixed as I think that could possibly be. Um, let's get that mixing stick out of the way. and brush on some of this. So it doesn't look particularly clear. It's quite a few bubbles and it's got a slightly kind of powdery almost appearance to it in there, but that should clear and drive out all the bubbles. So um, yeah, I've seen other people brush this stuff on with a paintbrush, which is what I'll do, but I've got no idea whether or not I'll be able to recover the paintbrush afterwards. Let's find out. 
So yeah, this is just the sealant coat to go over the top. And seal up the edges where there might be some pockets of air or whatever to come up. Okay, so it looks like that was pretty much the perfect amount of uh, epoxy that I mixed up there for that job. The uh, yeah, the beer mats are well sealed, but it does look like the lighter bits on those are a little bit discoloured from the epoxy going on. Hopefully, once it dries out, that will um, that will go back to the kind of colour it was before but that's the only slight concern at the moment other than that pretty easy I uh, just need to go and see if I can actually clean this brush off before it sets rock hard so yeah we'll come back to that tomorrow and see how it's getting on right so that first layer of epoxy has dried out now unfortunately the uh, little bit of discoloration that I got from the epoxy on the white areas on some of these mats uh, has not gone away so didn't foresee that one and unfortunately it's a little bit late now to do anything about it because these are epoxy down onto the top and I think I'd pretty much have to destroy this whole back panel in order to get those off so I'm going to go with it as it is uh, it's not quite as I wanted it but I'll come up with a solution for the rest of the bar top for how I'll get around that I think I'm going to pr try and put a uh, kind of plastic coat over the top of the uh, the other mats because the ones here these actually had stickers on them these two but they had a kind of plastic finish on those and that's obviously uh, kept the epoxy out from the uh, the cardboard underneath and it hasn't caused any of the kind of changing color that you can see here so uh, you can tell if I put one of the other ones up against it it's just obviously caused it to yellow quite a bit and uh, it doesn't look quite as bright that's the one that's probably the worst for it I think because it's kind of dulled all the other colors on there anyway let's get over to do some more epoxy so the epoxy is self leveling uh, which means you need to have the surface that it's being poured onto as flat as possible so I've just leveled this top surface off as much as I can ready for that and that way uh, I should get a fairly even distribution across the top there. Okay so for this bit I need to work out how much epoxy I need for a certain thickness and with this stuff a kilogram pack of the mixed resin will cover one meter squared to one millimeter deep so the panel that I'm covering is 0 0.32 meters or 32 centimeters by 0 0.24 or 24 centimeters and that gives me 0 0.077 square meters approximately so we can convert that straight into uh, kilograms if we wanted to cover it with one millimeter I want to cover it with three mil so that gives me approximately 0 0.23 kilos of epoxy that I need to cover it so I need to make up a mixture uh, of two parts epoxy to one part hardener to a total of 230 grams which I'll do in these cups again because it's a fairly small quantity so I need about 153 grams of the epoxy and then about 77 grams of the hardener. So three minutes mixing in that pot, transfer it to another pot, mix it again for three minutes and then we're ready to pour. So we've got it all mixed up, I've got my little spreading tool in case I need that. Uh, let's pour it on there. So again, as you can see, the mix is pretty opaque to start with but that will clear as it dries out you need to make sure it's in quite a warm environment to do this so uh, it will take a lot longer to set apparently if it's not 
but uh, let's get on with it and just pour it on there. Okay, so that's the pour done. Don't know if you'll be able to see on there, but there are some very fine bubbles in there which are supposed to be expelled naturally. So, got a blowtorch at the ready just in case, but it doesn't look too bad already, to be fair. It does take a little bit of encouragement with the spreader to get it to go into all the corners and edges, but um, it appears to have... Uh, found a nice level and yeah fingers crossed that's looking pretty good so I'm just going to cover that up now try and keep the dust out of it and um, it should be set enough tomorrow to move it around and probably get the tower installed so I can get on with the tabletop. So the tower is now in place and um, got all the taps fitted as well. This uh, this coloration on the mats was not as I wanted it, but I can live with that. However, for the ones on the bar top area here, I'm going to try covering them in uh, transparent photo paper. So this one, I've already put a bit on it, didn't quite cover the whole thing, but this is just a test. So obviously the... Uh, the white areas on these ones are the ones that discolored the worst. So I'm going to mix up this little test batch of epoxy, put it over the top of that and just check that the um, photo paper provides a decent enough barrier to the epoxy soaking into the cardboard. Uh, if that works, then I'll have to cover all of those with it as well, which is going to be tedious as hell, but I think it'll be worthwhile so that the colours on the beer mats on the top really pop out uh, from under the epoxy. So let's uh, try it out. Okay, so I've not left that to dry yet, but you can see that on the whole, the paper is doing, photo paper is doing the job of protecting that. That's the edge where the photo paper didn't come up to, so you can see it is discolouring it there as before and there's a little bit of creep in at the sides there but I think that's the bit where the paper had lifted up so it should do the job. Okay, so I've got the uh, plastic covering on all of the beer mats now and I'm going to start gluing them down. One other thing I'm going to do is just um, get a bit of uh, the glue on a little cotton bud and kind of run it round the outside of the beer mats as well. So that's where the epoxy might still soak in and um, yeah, stain the edge like you can see on that little test one that I did there. So we don't want that, but... Hopefully, if I put some PVA around the edge and then leave that to dry fully, that will stop it happening. It won't matter too much anyway on the darker ones like this, but uh, these sorts of ones with a pale background uh, are going to um, definitely show those stains around the edge if they are not sealed properly. So we'll try that. If that doesn't work, then I did my best. <laughs> so. Uh, Let's see how it goes. So they're all stuck down. That was an incredibly tedious job, but it all looks relatively neat. A few slightly odd sized ones, which made it a little bit tricky lining it all up, but these, um, little pump logo things helped out filling in the gaps where I wouldn't have got a beer mat in and uh, yeah overall looks good they're all sealed off with the PVA around the edges so hopefully when the epoxy goes on these we won't get any of that discoloration right so I've mixed up another hundred grams or so of resin 
which I'm going to use to just do the sealing coat on the top of here. Uh, the last paintbrush I used was totally fucked afterwards, so uh, just use a cheapy one if you are going to brush it on. Um, yeah, so this is only a cheapo paintbrush, I'm not too worried about it, but there was no way really to get the epoxy off of the, the brush last time that I could find. Anyway, I'm sure maybe somebody more knowledgeable might be aware of a method, but uh, I couldn't find it. So yeah, that last paintbrush is KO'd. Um, let's brush this on and then we'll leave that to set and then we can do the main pour. Okay, so that's the ceiling coat done. Now, it's definitely helped having the plastic on the top and the PVA around the edge. There are a couple of little areas on the lighter mats, particularly where you can see where the epoxy has just crept in a little bit, but it's nowhere near as much of a problem as it was on the, uh, the backboard over here. So once that's dried out, it should be much less noticeable. Right then, it's time for the main pour. So in my little bucket here, I've got 1.2 kilos of mixed epoxy, which should give me a depth of about four mil uh, on the top here. I've got a uh, dust sheet all set up, ready to go, and obviously cleaned it all off as much as possible, we'll try and get it as dust free um, as I can. So. Just need to pour it on there, spread it out, and then uh, leave it to set. So, oh, and obviously I've made sure to try and get the table top as level as possible as well. Um, more so the side panels level rather than the actual top surface itself, because I want it to obviously set level to the um, bar edging, uh, more importantly than the actual uh, inner surface itself. So, let's get on with it. Okay, let's get in and have a quick look before I cover it up with a dust sheet. So it's looking beautifully clear and smooth already. Yep, yeah, just need to leave it alone now. So we'll come back to this in a couple of days. And here it is, the finished article. So I'm really pleased with how it's come out. It's lovely, smooth, flat finish on the top there. Um, a few of the beer mats, the epoxy has kind of seeped in at the edges a bit more as well, which I'm a little bit annoyed about. So you can see on some of these lighter ones around the edges, which just slightly spoils it. Um, but, on the whole, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's get in there for a little bit of a close up. So that's nearly do all done now, um, just a few finishing touches to do which I will put into the next video but uh, that was the main bit uh, for me with this build so um, yeah looking good I'm the dude so that's what you call me you know uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or uh, you know El Duderino